Hey, Shazam15 here. Any guesses what film I'm doing this week? It's the time for the Smurfs. Now, overall, I would say this is probably the best adaptation of an 80... of a... well... a cartoon phenomenon that was around in the 80s, being as the originals in terms of cartoons is in the 70s. Comics goes back to the 50s, I think it is. Anyway, for once, they haven't got anything noticeably wrong. Admittedly, that might be because they've taken them out of the original setting and moved them into New York. But let's leave that one aside. Alright, I learned something. I didn't know there was a Castle Belvedere in Central Park, but that's just me. Alright, let's see, what is there to say? Gutsy Smurf. Not sure about him. I think they mostly put him in there because someone later on wrote the line Freedom and they wanted to make a Braveheart style elf. Braveheart style Smurf. Although I have been informed by other people that there was in fact a, someone like Gutsy Smurf who did have a Scottish accent in the original. I just don't recall it at all. Right. They got Smurf out right. I like the fact that whenever there's something ridiculous about the Smurfs, they point it out for you. Because between Neil Patrick Harris's character Patrick and Gargamel, they point out pretty much everything that's odd about the Smurfs. Which is awesome, because it takes the problems out. Right. The biggest problem with this thing is they're not the Smurf voices we know. Oh well. What can you do? The... They did take a few cheap jokes, like I kissed a Smurf and I liked it because they had Katy Perry doing Smurfette. Well, I don't think any of us could have resisted it. To be fair, I was talking about this film for a long time before it came out because as soon as I saw it, I said, you got to be Smurfing kidding me. Eh. It was a what the Smurf moment, but I quite liked the end result. All right. Let's see, what were my big criticisms? Well, number one, which I think is a casting issue, Gargamel's the wrong colour. Not Gargamel, Azrael's the wrong colour. This bugs me a little bit, but you forgive it, you assume they just couldn't find a very talented brown cat. You've only got what you've got to work with in terms of animal actors, so you got to make do with it. Let's see... I enjoyed Narrator Smith. Narrator Smith was fun. You will, if you see it, you will see what I mean, and it's nice to see the guys actually doing a full role instead of just the trailer. Alright, what else is the... Right. I remember those... I told you about the... Um, Miss Cassie and Israel. What's the other... I did have one other thing, but I can't remember what it is. Yeah. Oh, that was it. Um, according to Peo's description, which they actually recite at the start, Smurfs are supposed to be three apples high. Now, I'm fairly sure three apples high is not that. That. But the Smurfs are that. Basically, the Smurfs are the size you expect them to be, but I think they're a little bit too small to match the description. But, you know, I don't really know much about apples, so I'm not sure, but I'm fairly sure they're a little bit too small, but they're the right scale for our own imaginations. Anyway, that's pretty much how much you have to grasp at straws to find something wrong with this film. It's good overall. I thought it was smurftacular. And sorry about the smurf jokes, but they need to be done. And... Yeah, that's about it. Enjoyable film, well worth watching. I liked it. And have fun. See you next week.